one problem with the memes, videos, and other social media posts, as well as the media coverage out there about complex issues, is that they oversimplify the very nuanced and complex issues, and then confirmation bias of the reader slash viewer takes over. The reality is that the incredibly complex and deep-rooted issues covered by anything on social media or by the media will only be addressed through deep, honest, vulnerable, humble, and repentant conversations and relationships by all involved. And those conversations and relationships need to lead to heart and worldview change and systemic change on all sides if we have any chance. The reality is that we are in a world full of brokenness, broken systems, broken worldviews, broken families, broken communities, broken relationships, and so much more brokenness. All of the brokenness is interconnected and most of the issues we are facing today are symptoms of deep-rooted issues. We have to actually address the root causes which require all of us to dig deep into and address our own brokenness if we have any chance to actually repair the greater societal brokenness. As with all of my online posts, because I posted this online, this post falls short because it, with many of you, is not grounded in relationship and actual civil dialogue based on trust, respect, and relationship. But I thought I'd share a bit of my perspective to hopefully spur on more real life conversations. Oh, how I wish we would have these really difficult conversations in person with people different from us on a regular basis. That would go a long way to addressing many of the issues we are facing today. Rick, what do you think? And first of all, I think you, I think you captured uh, a lot of the feelings of a lot of us and, you know, just the, the last couple of weeks have been full of a lot of questions, a lot of sadness, watching events unfold before us, seeing injustice played out, you know, in front of us over and over and over again. And and I think the fatigue that you that you confess to is is a fatigue that we can, you know, we can all identify with. Not the least of which are our African American brothers and sisters, and the the level of fatigue that that they are experiencing after years of not having their perspective considered, not really, you know experiencing those things in in a way that has that has led to change that has led to you know in enduring difference and so you know these have these have been these have been difficult days and and I you know Phil and and, and you and I've talked offline a lot about this over the last you know several days and I, I think I you know I, I must confess coming coming to this conversation just with a great sense of, of brokenness, with a great sense of, of concern, but, but really feeling like, uh, like I've really possessed very few answers and, and, and very few ideas at this point. And, and, and so it kind of leaves me in a place where, where I feel like the uncertainty and the things that I, that I don't know, I, I need to be driven toward the things that I do know. Mm -hmm. and, and so the things that I do know that are, that are important in these moments, you know, part of what I do know is, is the sufficiency of Christ and the authenticity of the gospel. You know, I know that, that, that Jesus accomplished his work and, and that there is, freedom and salvation and rescue from the middle of all of this mess because of what Christ has done and because of what he has accomplished and that our hope is our hope is not in in this world our hope is not in the 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 even even seeing the reconciliation of the brokenness in this world our our hope is in you know is in the next and and that is you know, that is, that is both incredibly hard to get our heads around, but also incredibly comforting in the middle of a world where we stand around and don't see much of anything that seems, you know, that seems like an answer. I think, you know, you and I have for season after season and guest after guest and conversation after conversation talked about the necessity of collaboration. And 
that is an appropriate conversation in this moment. We we will we need to engage the injustice and and the brokenness and the lack of value of the Imago Day. We need to engage those things together in community. And and I think one of the one of the really the toughest things that we are experiencing in the moment is that COVID nineteen and and, and the resulting effect of that has really served to put us at greater distance from each other. It, it's, it's served to, to further isolate you know, us from each other and that, that that's, both a, that's both a physical separation and, and social distancing, but I think there are emotional consequences and there are emotional results of that and that that has done nothing but, but deepen the the divide and 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 bring more stress and bring you know more intensity to you know to the things that we're experiencing and so you know there's a there's a mixed there's a mixed feeling i think in in the midst of this that one you know just in just profound sorrow over over seeing people that are at, at a distance and at enmity seeing people that have you know that have 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 lived with uh, systemic oppression and people that have lived with, you know, with, with, with great difficulty, you know, the, in, 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 and really inequality and, and, and a lack of justice. But I think at the, at the, by the same token, just this, this profound, this, this profound sadness over the, over just the, the stark realization that, us being at a distance from each other has has created a moment and that and and you know and i like i hesitate i'm even i'm even i'm even grasping for words here but 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 i will tell you that that on on the other hand it, it it's good it's not good it's it's appropriate that we're digging into these issues and we're in a place where we can't run from them 